Well, hello there, folks. This is Carl's Copters, and welcome for another episode and another project. What am I building this time? I hear you all cry. Well, the, have you guessed yet? An aeroplane. That's correct, folks. An aeroplane. The thing is, obviously, we can't make it fly due to regulations and whatnot. So, we thought, why not build a plane? and then see if it'll t actually taxi and maybe just maybe bounce off the ground a little bit even if it is a couple of inches off the ground the way I look at it, it's flight so without further ado this is episode one let's have a look so we decided to build this plane out of guess it folks wood we started building the fuselage I know it doesn't look like much at the moment but it's got to start from somewhere now if you've ever seen a de Havilland DH2 Beaver like a little explosion plane um, I sort of modelled it off that really um, obviously there's still a long way to go it's all been done by uh, pine bands and been used with tongue and groove let me explain to you what's going on this is the actual main body of the aircraft and as you can see when the finger points see this chair that's obviously where the pilot's going to sit there's a little window at the side there like the beaver does have and uh, it's pretty solid already and it's really really light now, this is going to be the cockpit, it's very crude at the moment, obviously. You're wondering, what, what's that drum doing there? Well, I'll tell you what the drum's going to be for. This is going to be my engine cowling. I'm going to actually bring it in, tape it in a bit there. Then the engine is probably actually going to sit to about here. So it'll have quite a decent nose on it. Got a bit of perspex, still need to tarp that up a little bit the other side to do got some windows on some kind of tart that up a bit put the wings on the wings are going to fold up and actually make them fold which I'll, I'll explain in a minute we're going to tongue and groove all the back and then we'll do something to the floor of the aircraft as you can see down here still got a long way to go here and then uh, look I'll explain plane as you can tell with a plane they ain't fitting through them doors with the wings up so what I'm gonna do it's not a thought of how can I how can I do this oh. so if you can see on this model I'm actually gonna get the wings in this position they're gonna be hinged and they're both going to fold back like this sort of like that uh, and then that way it'll, they'll fit through any gap and then we'll have the tips of the wing there connected to the tail and then that way it's easy for transportation and when you're ready for flight the wings fold back and off you go well, uh, I like the effect of this, the tongue and roof look nice all painted up I want it to be yellow and uh, stay tuned folks this is where the wings are going to be uh, situated we're going to have a rod like a stabilizing rod coming out of the end and uh, stay tuned for part two so more plain fun and I'll see you in part two and don't forget to subscribe uh, near the later on in the year I might do a couple of competitions and if anyone's got any good names I could call this plane um, decent names you know what I mean, proper names um, don't forget to leave a comment on the bottom and see how it goes
goes. Um, we'll be test flying or at least taxiing this thing later on in the year. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Okay, thanks very much and thanks for watching. And this is Carl's Copters.